Do you love being free? How about free to win with Evil Eye Medusa Basilius Evil Eye Defeat? Become an untargetable god with Selene. Banish their graveyard. Get huge. Let's go. Stay focused, Yuma. End the Yuma. Sure thing. Was that oh, jeez. No. How did this happen? There can only be one winner, and you're looking at it. Let's go. I give this warning on every video, but maybe it's your first video, so I keep repeating this. My free-to-play definition is subjective like everyone else's. There isn't a true definition with it because we all know in a gotcha, you could be the luckiest or the unluckiest, but we try to go for the middle. What's the middle? I say one main box with no reset for the super rare and ultra rare cards is my definition of free to play or one mini box with one reset. So that's pretty much too many boxes for the super rare in ultra rare cards. Do not get baited by other people. I've seen so many YouTube videos saying free to play, but they are not free to play as they require ultra rares and super rares from multiple different boxes. I cannot believe you fools falling for it. Let's go. Everything here is free to play. We are getting it from the box, which is sorcery. Why would you want to play this over other decks? Well, Medusa, when equipped with an equip card, either the Selene or the Gorgon, is able to quick play banish from your opponent's graveyard. Looking at the tier list at Resonators and Thunder Dragons, the top two decks, what is banishing their graveyard good for? Well, being able to banish their Crimson Resonator on their combo or banishing their Wild Wind, that's huge. Against Thunder Dragons, being able to banish any of their light monsters, preventing them from summoning the Leveneer, destroying your field, that is huge. So quick play banishing is huge. Also, while equipped to the Selene, you are untargetable and indestructible completely. And every time you activate your Medusa to banish, you're going to gain 500 attack permanently. So your Medusa is going to get huge as you're untargetable and indestructible. You're pretty much Obelisk the God. In addition to the Selene and the banishing and being untargetable and indestructible, we have Evil Eye Defeat. This is an easily recycled card as on normal summon with your Medusa, you could add it from the graveyard back to your hand. The Evil Eye Defeat will return two monsters on the field back to the hand. You can return your own Medusa and their monster and that's a permanent loop. Medusa add back, then return your Medusa back plus their monster, do it forever, or return both of their monsters back to the hand and that's a pretty good play. Now that you know the main win conditions of the deck, how do we make the deck consistent? Well, Gorgon in the graveyard could discard an Evil Eye to search for an Evil Eye card. It could search for the Selene. It could search for the Defeat. It could search for the Field Spell, which could then search for the Medusa. So a lot of the cards are connected. Another consistency play is you could send the Selene to the graveyard, then banish a, an Evil Eye from the graveyard to play it onto the field at the cost of 1,000 life. Now, this deck costs a lot of life points. The Medusa, every time it activates the effect of the Selene, you're gonna lose 500. Activating the Selene itself from the graveyard, you lose 1,000. Activating any Evil Eye card alongside the Selene, that is a spell or trap, you're gonna lose 500. So we are playing Dual Fool. Dual Fool, if you start the turn with lower life than your opponent, you can gain 1,000 life. Can only be used once per turn, but twice per duel. So it's essentially plus 2,000 life instead of playing Life Point Boost Alpha, you gain that 2K. Now, because we want the Gorgon in the graveyard, or destroy the field spell because it can add a monster from the graveyard back to the hand. We're playing cards like Storm, Griffin Feather Duster, Parallel Twister, Double Cyclone to send our Gorgon to the graveyard or destroy our field spell to then destroy our opponent's back row or with the Twister, even destroy a monster. If you don't have Twister and you don't have the Double Cyclone because you don't want to go through the structure deck to get those cards, that's why, because it's from the structure deck, I do call it free to play then you could, if you want to, play more Griffin Feather Duster or just play more regular back or whatever protection you have 
that is fine. Nightmare Shark is a pretty good play in this deck because with Katabal Pass, with this card in the graveyard, which you could also special summon from the deck with the effect of the Awakening, you could special summon the Katabal Pass from the graveyard if you control an Evil Eye, and with the Basilius, which could special summon if you control an Evil Eye, so you could normal summon Medusa, special Basilius, then you could special summon Katabal Pass, then you could make a Nightmare Shark, then Nightmare Shark can attack directly for 2,000 damage. One final note, with your Gorgon, if you are lower life than your opponent, you're going to gain attack equal to the difference. So with the Gorgon plus the Selene, you could very easily get your Medusa untargetable, indestructible, over 4,000 attack attacking for game. Now, if you end up really liking the deck and you want to transition from free to play to maybe spending a little to optimize the deck, this is what an optimized Evil Eye deck looks like. The biggest things you're going to have to spend on will be the Utopia into Utopia Ray, because when comboed with your level tuning, you get to make it after dropping yourself to 1000 life, then you win with Utopia Ray. But unfortunately, we are free to play with this build, so we do not have that. Also, Treacherous is really good because your Medusa banishes your own traps. Playing a third field spell is very good. You don't have to play a third Medusa. That was his preference. But three field spell is definitely good. Even two Selene is also a huge boost to the deck. That's the deck. Enjoy being free to win. Focus. Basilius. Send a Gorgon. Gorgon. Discard Gorgon. Grab a Selene. And we're free. GG. Top 128 to qualify for Worlds. There's no Worlds, my friend. Worlds has been canceled. Worlds has been canceled. Do you want to know the real reason why Worlds was canceled? They said it was because something that's going on around the Worlds. But I don't believe it. They canceled Worlds for a second year in a row because they knew that I would take it. They knew it. You knew it. We all knew it. I'll be lurking in the shadows, ready for next year, unless they cancel it again. Barking Island. Keck Island. Okay. Arvata. Let's return both. Return. Return. I know. I activate my turn. No, I draw. Basil. Dual fool. Gain 1,000 life every turn for two turns. What do we do? What do, mates? Do I get the awakening in the grave? Get another Gorgon in the grave? Gorgon in the grave. How afraid are we of a hand trap? Discard, grab the fields. Got the other Medusa on our deck. I choose you, Medu. Can you imagine if that set card is... Nope, it's not. If it was a drowning? Hmm. What do? What do? What do? We do. Pokemon 4. It's treacherous. Okay. Do I give him a D draw? Do I give him a D draw? Draw to the D. Draw anything you want. Probably not. Let's go. Now, the Awakening could summon Medusa from the graveyard. What are some good free-to-play decks that you could build? Every deck I'm playing today is free, my friend. This deck's free to play. The other deck's free to play. We play, this is our third free-to-play deck today. Free to play deck. 
New players can build. Arvata, do I just do it to do it to just gain a bunch of attack? Just do it. I mean, he can just negate. We are indestructible. It's fine. Return him. I don't think I want to yet. Our effect activation gets negated anyway. Get Runix. Now is the time. I now my monster's effect activates. Okay. Activate. Banish. My monster's effect activates. Banish. Do you have DD Crow? What the heck? What the heck? 2900. She had not during this duel. Awakening the Madu. Let's go. Boost. Defeat. Reminder, we are free. Free to play. Free to play. We just go for it with, uh, do I need to make him 4,000? Do we really have to play around a freaking, I'm just gonna grab the defeat. We wussed out, we wussed out. We bust out. You got Veil? You don't got Veil, you got nothing! Free to win! Pay to lose! He's got Boxer because he didn't surrender. Hmm? You walk, mate? All right. Walk. Tribute a monster. MST on to the evil eye. Okay. Let's go, let's go. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. What are you doing? What are you doing? Toggle on, pass, check the hourglass. He has nothing, nothing, nothing. No mass change. Go to 24, 24. I guess we maybe just want to parallel twister. That could be funny. Is it funny to parallel twister? Parallel twist. Hilarious. Grab my doom. How much damage we got? Can only activate one of these, right? Can only activate one. We got the evil eye defeats. 19 plus 14 plus 5, 38. 38 mates. Dual fool. Turn off his ability to D draw. Bunnish. Yeah, no, you do not get to play that back in the field, mate. Let's go. Lethal banishes monster. Do you even calculator? Do you even? Do you have a calculator? 
That's a scoop. Imagine having this much power as a free-to-play player. 